okay. Don't do this to me. I want to sleep forever. It is way too cold to do anything, actually. It is freezing. Holy cow. Everybody. I actually forgot where I put my Crocs and I want to put socks on because I don't have to tie my shoes but at this point I might as well. Stinking warm, warm, stinking. Oh, Kai. I know. I have to pee too. But you can't, I can't. I have to wait. <laughs> splattered that bug that's huge too I slept like a baby last night it was like so comfortable but then when I woke up it was like freezing cold so it was like eh, I don't want to I don't want to do this I don't want to get up but so I'm going to go upload tomorrow's video I'm gonna go do that at a coffee shop that has Wi-Fi dine-in refills and the coffee's only like two bucks A couple things here that are amazing. First off, there's a parade every year around Halloween. It's called Arkalala, and we used to go there almost every year as kids. It is the coolest parade I've ever seen. Unfortunately, they're not doing it this year because of COVID. The second coolest thing here, Ike's Donuts. Ike's Donuts has the best donuts I have ever had. That is no exaggeration. And the unique thing about Ike's that I really love is that their donuts aren't like cakey and airy. They're like thick and like fluffy on the inside and so it's actually really filling you don't you don't have to eat a dozen to feel like you're full and you don't feel like crud when you're done eating them they actually taste good these are the best donuts you will ever have Would have been done like an hour ago but I uploaded the video to YouTube and then immediately after I uploaded it it said that it had a copyright on the song and I could have sworn the song was copyright free uh, so it took me like an hour hey puppy hi I know I kept you hooked up let's go for a walk I really don't know what the plan is for today um, my grandma's at work and I think my grandpa's asleep he usually works a night shift I thought I saw my cousin's van in the driveway and I really don't know where the story is on that. I might go see my great grandma because she may or may not be all alone at her house, I really don't know. So I don't really have an exact plan for today, but Kai hasn't got to stretch his legs in a while, so we're just going to give him a walk real fast. <laughs> shower in like a week so my cousin's van was here just a minute ago and it's not so I'm assuming they actually are here because their van's not here now so I don't know
That was like the first bath I've had in like two, first bath I've had in like a week. So I feel great, I feel refreshed. Everything's better now. But I also have some stuff I have to work on the Jeep and half my stuff's in the shed. The windshield actually, it still has a big crack in it and I need to get that replaced. And there's a shop down here that does really good work. It's really backlit, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna get the windshield fixed among a couple other things. And then from there, we're gonna start the actual road trip. I'm still living in the Jeep obviously, but I'm not really counting this as the road trip. I'm not even sure if I count the last trip as a road trip. And when I started that, I fully intended to stay on there a lot longer and I was going to wing a lot of this. I knew that eventually I wanted a roof rack and stuff and I was gonna figure that out, you know, in the future, but what I had left with, that was all I was bringing with me and I was fully prepared to start this trip and then the gears had to get put on. That was like necessary and then after the gears got put on, there was a couple other things that supposedly needed fixed. And long term, it worked out in the end, but I haven't even been like living in the Jeep for months and I feel like I lost a lot of consistent followings because of that because a lot of you are on here because of my road trip and the, the whole journey and wanting to see me travel the world in a Jeep and like do that because there's only like one other person there's only one other person who's done that and vlogged about it and who has been very successful with it which is probably why I get compared to him a lot. The funny thing is there's a lot of people who do this but there's very few people who do it and film it in a way that people want to see them succeed and go on this adventure and I feel like I was getting to a point where I actually had people who were watching my channel and being inspired to want to do it and a lot of you have actually reached out to me on Instagram and even just ask for my suggestions and my opinions on things. And uh, I, I don't even think you guys realize like how much I enjoy seeing that. And I know sometimes like I'm not really good at replying and I'm trying to get better at that. But I, I really enjoy it when you guys like reach out to me on Instagram and you know send me pictures of your Jeep and stuff. And that's actually why I wanted to do the thing where you guys would send me videos and pictures of your Jeep and I would post it at the end of my videos. One of the coolest things about this whole journey that I'm going on is the idea of meeting new people and you know getting to know people with similar passions and people who want to do the same thing I'm doing because there's not a lot of us out there and that's why I think it was really cool to meet Jen because like I said there's not very many people who have this desire to want to travel and then especially in a Jeep like something that small or living in a car and doing it full time I don't know it's something unique about it because you have the freedom to like travel and go anywhere. I've already had my fair share of problems with the Jeep and there's gonna be a lot of problems from now on and honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna afford them. You know, being a 1993 Jeep, I mean, there's already issues that I'm kind of worried about, honestly, because it's gonna be an, uh, a big issues in the future. My springs are starting to get a little saggy. The heater, I think the heater is permanently jammed on. My AC is kind of off and on. I think my compressor is going out. And I don't really have the funds for all this stuff. I really wanted to get a canopy, like, uh, you know those tarp things, the canopies that go over the tarp? I wanted to get one of those because right now, if it rains, I'm, I'm stuck in the Jeep. I can't do anything. And if I can't find a good indoor coffee shop, I'm stuck, you know, being out in the Jeep, especially with COVID. If it rains, that's it. I'm, I'm stuck inside the Jeep and that's a t small space to be crammed in. Most people, when it rains, they can just, you know, spend the whole day watching TV or whatever inside their house, getting comfortable. I barely have enough leg room to stretch. There's really not a lot of space in there. You guys would be surprised. I really think I'm gonna need a solar setup here in the near future. The fridge does drain a lot on the battery and if I don't drive the Jeep every day, it's gonna die. The battery has almost died every night. My power inverter would actually shut off because it realized that it was draining too much battery and so I had enough to start the Jeep and stuff. I can't just turn off the fridge all the time since I have all my food in there. I really don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm really like winging it at this point. I mean, I might have to back down like um, Jen and just end up eating only sandwiches and stuff and I don't know, ditch the fridge and everything. <laughs> It's a lot harder also with Kai, you know, having that responsibility to have to take care of an animal while on the trip because it's one thing when I just need to make myself comfortable, but I also have to try to make it as comfortable and convenient for him. I can't think of like anything I did since I left the trip and I really felt like I zoned out and I kind of lost all my motivation to do this channel and do this journey while I was there. And like, I knew that it was 
what I wanted to do like making YouTube videos and the whole time I was I felt like I was doing it because I had to and not because I wanted to and I'm a little bit self-aware of why that was. I knew that once I started this trip that I was going to be motivated again and that I would get back into like my element and you know be more myself but I couldn't bring myself to do that and I think that's one of the biggest reasons why it took so long for me to get back on the road now and when I left for Colorado in the first place like I was fully motivated to you know go forward and push through whatever problems I had I mean I was willing to get a side job at McDonald's for a week if I had to as long as it meant I could still continue the road trip and then recently I just didn't have motivation to do this or anything and like the whole time I was in Longview I was just like so drained of energy I, I was just trying to push myself to finally get out here because I knew knew if I could get on the road again that I would find that motivation again and I was just thinking of like how much my channel has changed since I stopped that road trip and even looking back it was maybe five videos the five videos of me traveling through Colorado or however many videos there were four or five not even like a lot but those were like some of the best videos I ever created because I felt like myself and I haven't felt that way in so long that I was like I really want to you know keep doing this I just kind of wanted to make this video and kind of you know talk about that because I'm starting to I'm like the first time in forever I'm starting to actually feel like myself again and it's weird because I I felt so terrible the last few months of not being on the road and the sleep I've gotten this last week where I'm sleeping inside of a Jeep is like the best sleep I've ever gotten and my motivation to want to do things and like my overall mood and just everything's been better ever since I started and it's only been a few days and like I can tell that I'm already getting better like this isn't just uh something I'm doing I want to like completely learn from all these experiences I want to like completely change my life I want to start eating healthier um, I want to start working out you know different things I want to completely you know grow from this and become the best version of myself and I'm hoping by the end of this I will you know reach that goal and there's so many things like I want to talk about and share on this channel and I know that I can't do that if I'm not in the right mindset. It's not just about me either. It's about like my followers and the people who watch my channel and stuff and like how you guys help inspire me to want to continue this. But there are a lot of you who still watch my channel and still help, you know, push me to get back on the road and everything. And that really means a lot to me, especially all you people who reach out and tell me how, you know, you see my videos and you really enjoy them. Like that really does mean a lot to me. So <laughs> that's probably a lot of talking, long speech. But yeah, I just wanted to say that and you know, let you guys know, reach out to me on Instagram or whatever, comment in the comment section, it really means a lot. And I do try to reply to all those comments. I really wanna get back to being more personal with you guys. I wanna start doing the live streams again, the Q and A's and get back into all that stuff. And I do intend to do that here in the near future, especially now that I'm out again, I'm vlogging and I'm trying to vlog every day now. So I really think a lot of stuff is gonna change and I really hope my channel starts growing and I you know, start making amazing content for you guys to enjoy. So if you'd like to support me, go help me out on Patreon. Um, I have different tiers. So there's like a, I think there's a $3, a $5, and then I think it's a $15. And I don't like to ask people for money per se, but I will send you exclusive content. So it's kind of a win-win for like, I think $3 a month for cute pictures of puppy. It's not that bad. I mean, it's just, it's not terrible, but oh, the shade's getting in the way. I'm gonna go, go guys, cause um, I'm waiting for my grandma to get here and we're gonna go get something to eat. And I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Puppy Kai will too. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be.